Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. No time for the car dashboard this morning, so we are back in my office at Lipscomb University where I'm going to be teaching again today. Today is, in fact, Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Lots of news to bring you today, so let's get to it. First of all, there was an attack on Canada's parliament, uh, a shooter who is said to have recently converted to Islam, uh, did kill a guard at the war memorial, but then was shot and killed himself. Uh, good news that Ebola patient, I cannot pronounce his name, but he was an NBC freelance journalist, is now home and Ebola free. Uh, the two nurses from Dallas that were supposedly uh, affect or are affected are actually on the mend as well. Um, there was also another security lapse at the White House, so we had another fence jumper, but this time it was I guess tackled or at least attacked by security dogs right away. I don't know if that's a good thing, but was prevented from doing any harm there. Uh, in other news, oh, Ferguson, Missouri, experiencing new protests after the autopsy of Michael Brown revealed that he had been shot nine times, though including once in his hand, which then leads you to think, or I guess support the evidence that he was in fact reaching for a gun. So that unrest is going on. The Royals tied the Giants. The World Series is now 1-1, a game apiece. And uh, other sports news, my alma mater for my master's, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, go Tar Heels, um, is under a lot of scrutiny and NCAA review for supposedly putting athletes through these no-show classes where they were not required to go anywhere. There was no actual professor. They had to write one term paper and were basically automatically given an A or B to help their GPA so that they could continue playing either football or basketball. I hate to say this doesn't surprise me, um, but is embarrassing and uh, disappointing, of course, no less, because UNC does have, you can actually see my diploma right there. UNC has a great reputation, uh, and I know this won't mar the rest of us that did work hard to get our degrees there, but I know as someone that was a graduate assistant, um, it, it was suggested that we help those athletes along for sure. So that's what's happening in the news. Like I said, I am back in my university at Lipscomb University today. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. I said to my kids, this is the weather we've been waiting for all year. It's like that 50 degrees and sunny, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we have our last upward football practice tonight, so we're transitioning from football to basketball for the first time. And my husband's back on the road. Got to see him for about 12 hours, and he's doing the final leg of the Plum Fall Tour. So uh, hopefully in November we'll be seeing a little more of each other. But that's what's going on. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm kind of excited. Can I show you a little bit of my, Now yeah, that doesn't show you much, my uh, J. Crew shirt here, my jewelry. It's kind of proud of trying a new outfit. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I hope you have a fantastic day. Make sure you make it great. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.